Most of us monitor our diet to some extent to try to lead healthy lives. And if you're in the camp that believes fat is better for you than carbs, you might want to look at some new research. Registered dietitian Tammy Famusa is here to explain how a high fat diet could actually create a reverse effect. So we'll get to that. First, let's talk about these results. This was a small but really mm -hmm. interesting study. So what did researchers look at? So what they looked at was in rats, and it actually hasn't been published yet. And I just thought it was very interesting because I was at a conference a couple weeks ago, and the big push right now is for microbium or microbe, however we want to pronounce it. Um, I'm sure, I don't know if you have it up on a link, how you spell it, but anyway. Mike, so, yeah. Yeah, so what they looked at was a high-fat diet versus a low-fat diet. And they the rats that had the high fat diet basically what happened is we have a connection from our stomach which is the vagus nerve to our brain mm -hmm. and it signals you need to stop eating it right? says you're full right it tells you you're hungry. full satiety it says I'm really full okay. stop eating well what happens with the high high fat diet that they found in the rats once they dissected them they, they found that there was actually inflammation in the brain that caused that the reception wasn't working and also the circuitry that goes from the stomach to the brain wasn't working so and that was caused by the high fat diet by the fact that they were eating fat right instead. exactly so there were two things then the gut bacteria change I just want to make sure we get this because it's scientific and the tissue in the brain the inflammation changed. in the brain changed right okay. and so basically the microbium is all your bacteria in your gut in your lungs in your nose in your okay. in your mouth everything that's that includes good it's a huge thing coming out right now and so now they don't know whether you can reverse those effects yet. right and that's the, the the bottom base of the study that they haven't mm -hmm. published yet is we don't know what the permanent effects are can we reverse this that's their next step they're gonna then take those high-fat diet rats the ones they didn't dissect or the ones that or start over and then reverse it. Can they reverse it and change it to a low fat diet and yeah. then it will reverse back, the inflammation will decrease and lovely to think about dissection during the dinner dinner hours. But I'm sorry. Um, okay, but so this is what I'm wondering though. Does this give insight into you know how some people will go on a diet, they'll lose weight, and then as soon as they modify the diet, they gain weight back. Is this giving us kind of some insight into why that might happen? Yes, exactly, and that's what they found in the study, that people that have lost a lot of weight and then they go back to eating processed foods, yeah. eating a lot of crappy Frozen junk pizza. that we talk about all yeah. the time, then it actually changes the, 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 the metabolism and your circuitry. So what is the takeaway from this? Because obviously we've also talked about not eating enough fat isn't good either. No, and I'm not saying to eat a no-fat diet. Right. What I'm saying is what nobody wants to hear is you need to eat a moderate fat diet. With And, and what they said in the study was if you're going to go out and have onion rings, right, you might want to follow it up with some broccoli. So it's just like you say when we go to a restaurant, if right. you want that, cut you, it in half. Cut it or, in half you know, or follow it up with something a little healthy. You healthy. can't just eat high fat for every meal. So people who are on like the paleo diet, that one is a lot of fruits and vegetables, no refined carbs, right? Right, no, ref no refined carbs at all, lots of meat, your basic... Are you concerned about that? Well, that's a whole different segment. Yeah. I mean, okay. I can't believe you even brought that up. Okay, so we'll leave it at everything in moderation. Exactly. Don't go too extreme no, on No, and you diets. really just don't eat a lot of high fat. What they're basically saying is it will change your body, your satiety, and your inflammation in your brain if you're eating high fat constantly. Okay. And we'll keep an eye on this. So once this gets yeah, published, no, they totally. look at whether it's they very can reverse interesting. it. Yeah, it's fascinating. Tammy, thanks so much. We'll thanks. see you right after the break.